Sound and audio playback issues on Macs are fairly common. You may encounter audio bugs after updating your operating system, installing a new audio device, or even when you switch between applications. Fortunately, most of these problems have solutions that are as simple as pressing and unpressing the mute button or adjusting your sound settings. Here are a few quick fixes for times when the sound is not working on a Mac. Check your volume and hardware. So, first of all, as well as turning it off and on again, make sure you haven't just muted your system. It may seem pedantic, but you can potentially save yourself from hours of audio troubleshooting by identifying this as early as possible. Mute and unmute the microphone, and then increase your volume before testing the audio again. If you've plugged in headphones or external speakers, this is also a good time to check whether they've actually blown out or are disconnected. Check individual apps. One of the fastest ways to check for audio issues is to ensure there isn't an issue with an individual app. For example, make sure your browser tab is not muted. This can be true in Safari, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, etc. Checking out the sound control in these apps is a great place to start to make sure any audio issue isn't something that is more likely hardware related. As audio plays in individual tabs, browsers often have indicators next to the website name on that tab, which can be muted or unmuted. Double check to make sure those are not muted or whether you're playing a YouTube clip making sure a clip isn't muted as well. Choose the right audio device. If you can't hear anything after plugging in your headphones or connecting your computer to an external audio device, chances are you've uncovered one of the Mac's most common audio bugs. While the exact reason isn't clear, sometimes Macs select the wrong output audio device when you install or plug in a new one. To fix it, go to the Apple menu and choose System Preferences, Sound, Output, or go to your System Preferences icon. Select the correct output device for your audio. If the device you want to play audio is already selected, choose a different audio device. Reselecting the one you want may remedy the problem. If it doesn't, you can try unplugging and reconnecting your audio devices, of course. Don't forget to uncheck the mute option and adjust the output audio as before. Reset Core Audio. If your audio problems continue after all of that, then there may be an issue with one of your Mac's audio interfaces which can result in various bugs, including missing or distorted sound. Resetting the low-level Mac Audio API, Core Audio, often resolves these problems. Launch Terminal and type sudo kill all Core Audio D in the input window and press Enter. Type in your password if asked. Once you reset the API, Test your sound to make sure it's working properly. Alternatively, you can also delete the Core Audio D process in Activity Monitor. Go to Applications, Utilities, Activity Monitor, and you'll see a list of all your running processes with a percentage CPU next to them. Locate the search bar at the top right and type in Core Audio D. Then click on it with your mouse or trackpad. As soon as it's highlighted, click on the X icon at the top left of the Activity Monitor window and it will automatically restart your Max Core Audio process. Zap the NVRAM. NV or Non-Volatile Random Access Memory, NVRAM or Parameter RAM, PRAM, is a special type of memory your Mac uses to store information that it needs before loading the operating system. This information includes audio and display settings, time zone preferences, your current startup disk, and details about any recent fatal system errors. NVRAM or PRAM issues are rare these days, but can cause any number of odd Mac behaviours. Resetting or zapping the NVRAM can potentially solve your audio problems. And this is what you do. Shut down your Mac. Press the power button until your Mac turns on. Press and hold Command, Option, P and R until your computer restarts. If you choose this option, keep in mind that zapping your NVRAM and PRAM will return your startup list, time zone, and audio preferences to their default settings. So it's not something you want to do every day. Audio issues on the Mac usually, like the ones we've seen, have quick, easy fixes and are rarely linked to any serious hardware problems. However, if you have to reboot your Mac several times or repeatedly reset the core audio API to get your sound working, it's probably best to reach out to Apple for additional assistance. If you're also seeing the battery service warning on your Mac, Check the link in the description for our guide. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. We do appreciate your support. That's all for now. See you next time.